Development Log 11, a Sucker Free Games production. The designers, Danielle Dorsey. Video games is my god. William McDonald. Uh, I'm going to bed. The programmer, John Norman. You can activate again, there's a player. Sprite artist, Bernard McKinney. <laughs> Armed with a fridge of energy drinks, an Xbox 360, and the Torque X 2D engine, this group of gaming geniuses have banded together in an unholy alliance to produce a masterpiece of retro gaming goodness. Dungeons. This is their true story. All night. Keep the party going. All night. What are you doing? We been working. <laughs> if you want to see, I've been working on the. Oh, I forgot to turn that off. But I've been working on the um, health bars a bit, the GUI, and um, as you can see, I forgot to turn the bug window off. But um, we have a life count, put it right up there, and these, um, uh, I don't know what to say, the health bars dynamically alter themselves based on um, safe zones. Basically it just aligns itself according to your TV type. As you can see as you get hit, the life goes down again, that's been broken for a while. Two lives. Now this is when the game kind of freaks out because the kobolds are all looking. Every single one is searching every single object on the screen to see if it's a new target, but no targets exist. So I need to modify the AI so they just kind of sit there twiddling their thumbs if nobody's left alive. Okay, John. What? John, what happened? I was struggling for a long long time to try to get this stupid thing to work. Yeah. He it, it, it struggled so long we didn't update for two days because we had made no progress. <laughs> oh, it was so painful. So painful. And now? It worked. Basically it's a problem with torque. No, no, it's John. Just... A fine product company like Garage Games. Games literally built in garages can never make a shoddy product that they don't properly support. So you have your input map, and you can bind um, like the A key, and when you press it, it calls a function, or else you can bind the uh, triggers to a value, and it's just the way that you bind input. The problem was, when I was trying to make it so players could join in the game, it has two separate input maps. One for when they can, um, you know, press A to start and select their character, and then choose your character. And then the other one for when you're actually playing. The problem was trying to switch between them. But now it works, huh? Yeah. See, every single pro you know, process tick, it'll pass along a um, updated movement state where it has you know the position of all your you know, control sticks and stuff like that. But the problem was that once I switched input maps, it stopped sending me these, and so it didn't work. And I couldn't get it to restart sending them again. And so the game completely broke. And that's the entire thing I've been yeah. working on, is getting I, it working to a player. I'm just having fun. Okay. Rose. And with Rose. And so everybody else say to join. Oh, because you can graze out when someone's already selected, so you can't yep. select them. Correct. Can't select Rose. They can select Bullocks. Now oh. I'm started. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go kick some ass and chew bubble gum. Okay, let's see it. What? Never! No! What, what happened? I forgot to add an object. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have added a new camera system. When William and I were playing, I kind of realized that the old one didn't work very well. 
obviously the old one, it'll still be a great system for cutscenes and the like. But what the old one did was it, you know, drew a box around all the players and then centered in the middle of it. So it kept all the players, so it centered itself around all the players. And so as all the players were moving, the camera was also constantly moving. So when you're fighting, it gets kind of nauseating with all the players running around, all the enemies running around, and the camera constantly adjusting itself to always point in the middle. And so I added the normal box thing where I specify some boundaries on the screen and if you go past it, like Bullock's will here will do, then it moves. Also, if both players try and you know, leave the box at the same time, then it temporarily reverts to the old method of fo follow, um, focusing on the middle. Yeah, you also sound like you add something else to the game, John. Music. Yeah, tell us about it. Feels awesome. Yeah. I um, revamped the sound system a bit to um, support it. Because previously I just hard-coded in a bunch of things. And uh, obviously that wouldn't work when we're adding a whole bunch of new sounds. It wouldn't be very flexible. And so I add... So I... Um, Add a new system where when we request a sound, it checks if it exists. If it doesn't, it loads it and puts it in a list. Is, is the war slug next? <sighs> Maybe. I was actually thinking about it. Yes! War slug! War slug! Yeah. I, I'm working beyond full time now, people, and I'm still making the game. Those of you who ask me, what part what am I doing in this project? I'm funding it, bitches! <laughs> And I've designed it and voiced it, and I'm doing all the audio work, and I found all the sound effects and music we were using, and I've, well, I, I pretty much wrote The Bastard, along with Danielle. I, I've done a lot for this project, and I got emails from some of you people claiming, like, we see John working, we see everyone else, but where's William? Do William's working! William's working hard! Thank you. It's official. John completed something. <laughs> that I just added today. Let's look at this other thing. Look what's also got complete. We have Bernard finishing the rose spreads, and I sheeted them. And then we look at William. Adobe! Damn it! <laughs> 60 hours working! Weak! <laughs> yeah, yeah. You must know, William is right now on the verge of madness and insanity. <laughs> I can't get consecutive sleep! Four hours! And we're gonna get three more! <laughs> that was the first day. This day I had. Oh god, I'm tired. I can't find my cell phone charger. <laughs> I can't go to sleep without it! Anyway, bye. Don't be a sucker! <laughs> <laughs>